The new wash tower heat pump will allow flexibility with a new ventless design, but may also have problems. You may have watched the new LG wash tower view based on the four wash tower models. At that time, the WKHC 202 HBA was just made available. The unit is so much different than the other wash towers that it deserves its own video. You'll learn the best features of this model with a particular focus on the drying capability. Two immediate takeaways from this video. You can now place a full-size wash and dryer anywhere in your home, and heat pump drying is what everyone will buy within the next five to 10 years. We'll compare LG to the popular Mueller and Bosch heat pump models, and also a new prototype. Heat pumps are the newest, most efficient way to dry your clothes. Any heat pump uses an air exchanger. The cold air enters one side, releasing moisture from your clothes. The compressor pumps the air through the hotter side and is released back into the drum. Heat pumps continuously recycle air. Quick tip, the water stays and empties in the front of the machine. However, you can plumb it through the washer. Energy savings is the main benefit. You may not know this, but your electric dryer is one of your house's most costly appliances. Then again, a traditional electric dryer is the equivalent of a giant hair dryer. With the cost of electricity these days, a heat pump will save you considerably. This heat pump only uses five amps versus 30 for the regular dryer. Heat pumps operate at lower temperatures, so they're generally on your clothes than a traditional electric dryer. And you can now place a wash tower anywhere you have water and power. Kids leave for college, their closet can now be your new upstairs laundry. By the way, did you know you have to call someone to clean your duct? Lint is flammable. Not that house fires from dryers are that common. Put in a list of things to do today. Come to think of it, I have to clean mine. Heat pumps are the standard in Europe, but Europeans use the smaller compact laundry. The larger sizes are less proven. So as you're watching this, know that you'll be one of the first with a larger heat pump. They also work at lower temperatures, generally on your clothes, but you'll spend more time drying. We'll test this in the next few weeks, but the average time varies between 30 to 60 extra minutes. But don't confuse this with the current combo washer and dryer all in once. So combo washer and dryer can be up to six and a half hours. However, combos are also changing soon as you'll discover later in the video. Dryers are generally reliable because that extra large hair dryer blower like element actually works. You only have a few parts in the dryer. However, Heat pumps add an exchanger and a compressor as well. If you're replacing gas, you must still run a 240 volt line and outlet. For that, you have to find that ever elusive electrician. You also have to clean your lint filter. However, in a heat pump, you also have to keep the air exchanger clean. You see that little door at the bottom? It's not a big deal, just open it and clean any lint or pet dander. All the wash towers solve some fundamental problems. One piece design is more streamlined at 74 and 3 8 inches versus stacking two pieces around 80. Controls are also in the middle, which is incredibly helpful versus reaching over six feet for traditional laundry. The LG wash towers design also makes sense. You don't sacrifice capacity or many features as you'll see later in the video. LG has the shallowest washer and dryers and only 30 and 60 inches deep. That's over an inch and a half shallower than the next shallowest brand. So you can place it in tighter spaces. Reliability is the most crucial consideration in buying laundry. You want a reliable machine because the average repair weight of 48 weeks translates into piles of unwashed clothes. LG is again the most reliable laundry sold at Yale. The washers require just 1.9% service in the first year based on 35,000 service calls completed by a service team just last year. Compare that versus 5.4% for washers, 9.4% for appliances in total. From reliability and size, the wash tower is a reasonable consideration. The Artificial Intelligence Direct Drive, or AIDD, washes your clothes by determining weight and softness. It uses 11,000 data points to assess the washer's cycle, time, and motion. The dryer will save up to 22% drying time by sensing moisture and softness in the dryer. The best part is you just hit a button without choosing any cycles and options. The newer AIDD front load washers introduced in late 2022 incorporate an auto dispenser. You'll learn a bit more about auto dispensers later in the problems part of the video. The smart learner remembers any of your favorite cycles you use. So if you wanna wash colors in hot with a cold rinse, the machine will remember that cycle. Not sure you should ever have the machine learn that cycle. Smart pairing intuitively sets the dryer based on the washer. Once again, many LG, G, and Samsungs have that feature. 
Lastly, the wash tower is Wi-Fi driven and can be operated from your phone and even text you at the end of the cycle. You also have customizable cycles not available on any of the control boards of the machines. GE, Whirlpool, and Samsung have similar functions. GE has its washer communicating with its dryer through smart functions. However, LG's AI functions are the most user-friendly and extensive. Other cycles include Turbo 360, LG adds high pressure sprays to shorten any cycle to 30 minutes. Many brands have a short cycle for small loads under 10 pounds. The washer and dryer have steam. And the washer steam powers out tough stains and the dryer steam refreshes and de-wrinkles your clothes. Have a favorite shirt? Place it in a steam cycle to wear out that night in about 10 minutes. At $27.99 to $30.99 and buy it before any major holiday for the lower price, the wash tower is on the expensive side of a washer and dryer. However, it is a reasonable price for this heat pump. The smaller Bosch is about the same price, while the meal is $22.99 to $48.99 for a smaller machine. The main missing feature is an automatic dispenser. Gene and Whirlpool now have a 32 and 40 load dispenser. Just load it up, the machine dispenses the right amount of detergent at the right time. Many of LG's most popular washing machines have a 15 load dispenser. You should also consider an auto dispenser because it prevents using too much detergent. You only need a capful at most. Too much detergent causes over sudsing. The excess sud will create service problems later inside the machine. Also, loading multiple loads is convenient. However, the only washer with an automatic dispenser and a heat pump is a Mila. This wash tower is shallow. However, every one piece unit could have delivery issues, especially with embossed. It can't turn a one piece effectively on narrow landings like in a brownstone. For two pieces, drivers can lift them over banisters. We perform free site checks if you have a tight space and live in Massachusetts. Let's compare the wash tower to all your options. I want to focus on the ventless heat pump options. Meal is a different type of machine. It features a honeycomb drum so fabrics glide on a sheet of water for a more gentle wash. You can also use caplets in a Miele, or you can in an LG or Bosch. Miele's washer RPM spin is the fastest at 1600 versus the still fast 1300 for LG and 1400 for Bosch. Miele's twin dose automatic dispenser, dispensing the right amount of detergent and bleach at the right time is inspired. However, you will have to spend 38 to 4800 for that feature. Bosch is similar to Miele in size. It doesn't have the honeycomb drum or cap or dispenser. However, the dryer is 220 volts and an upgrade from Miele's 110 volt dryers. Bosch is also the most proven of the three with outstanding reliability. The wash tower is much larger, 4.5 cubic feet versus 2.25 to 2.5 for the Miele and Bosch. For a family of four to five, the wash tower is the same size as other regular front loads. Of course, size is a disadvantage if you can't place the wash tower in a 24 inch closet or standard 24 inch kitchen cabinets. So yes, beside the dispenser, the wash tower heat pump is the new ventless standard, but only for the next six to eight months. Here's why. New all-in-one washer and dryers have the features to obsolete the wash tower and perhaps two-piece washers and dryers. So you don't have to transfer your clothes from your washer to your dryer. You have good capacity of 4.8 cubic foot in the 32 load auto dispenser. Profile includes their antimicrobial microband coatings as well. Combos have traditional problems removing lint, but Profile includes a thick double-sided filter in the front of the machine to solve the problem. So it combines G's best features, adds the heat pump for more efficient, albeit slower drying. The question is whether it will work. Now that you've learned about the LG wash tower with heat pump, check out this video about our most reliable front load washers. And thanks for watching.